Beep, beep, everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, today we're opening up a subscription box, the GLB Collector's Box. This is the June edition. Um, this is a lower-end uh, product that costs $29.99 for a one-time purchase. If you subscribe to it, it is $28.49 per month, and you get an extra hit. I will try to put a link to the exact product down in the description um, below, somewhere down in here, and um, you can check that out on your own time. Uh, so beep beep from Grimace and beep beep from Omar. <laughs> and we're going to um, boop Nathan's nose for good luck. Boop, boop, boop. So this product comes to your home in uh, this box. Uh, I think it's a 300 count box. I think I was uh, formerly saying 150. Uh, looks like it would be kind of tight to fit 300 cards in there anyway. Uh, there's a URL on the box and there's a mailing label usually on the bottom of the box. I take that off for privacy sake. So let's open this up and check it out. So it's gonna have like a, a few packs and some loose cards. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if the website tells you where the source of the loose cards comes from, but uh, GL, Great Lakes Breaks, uh, they do break, so chances are it's probably like an extra flow of things from, from those things. So here's some wee stuff, <laughs> which we're going to move off the table here. Um, here's our packs. And uh, this uh, team bag here has some... Uh, top loaders and some penny sleeves and there are two cards inside that one of which one is usually a hit and here are all the loose cards and we're going to go over those first and we're going to move this box off the table here to give us some room and let's see what kind of neat stuff we find in this month's edition uh, because it's a lower end product, don't expect anything like really amazing. Um, but there sometimes are surprises. I've had a number of surprises over, over the course of, uh, subscribing to this. Um, uh, I pay this with my own money. I'm not sponsored by anybody just in case anyone is wondering. This is something that I thought I would enjoy my, on my own. Uh, and it does fill in a lot of different holes uh, in my collection, um, mostly base cards and stuff like that that I'm missing. Um, but there are some interesting things here and there. Uh, so let's start digging in. So uh, Hometown Heroes, Fergie Jenkins from 2013. That's from Panini. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever heard of this product before, but that's pretty cool. I've never seen these before. And there's Carlton Fisk. See what I mean? I was completely, totally surprised by that. Uh, Tops Big League, Jose Siri. There's 2024 Tops Chris Bassett, Leover Paguera. Uh, these are from Series 2. I have yet to open any... Se well, wait a minute. I opened up two hanger boxes of Series 2. I'm still waiting for um, a mega box to come in the mail. Colson Montgomery. Um, wow, I'm not familiar with that design. Uh, that's from 2024. I haven't opened up any 2024 Bowman yet. Uh, go back to 2021 for Harrison Bader, uh, D. Strange Gordon, Glaber Torres, uh, Josh Donaldson, Avisel Garcia, Michael Franco, Tony Gonsolin, Yankee L. Fernandez. This is Bowman Chrome from the new 2024. Here's a good one. Gunnar Henderson. That's a nice one. Nolan Arenado. That's a good one. Luis Matos, rookie card. Ronald Acuna Jr. Douglas Glod, first Bowman. That's a name I have never heard of before. Uh, here's some 2023 Topps Chrome Platinum. That's Stone Garrett, rookie card. Looks like there's a little something. I'm not feeling anything with my fingers, so I don't know what that is. It's a little de defect on the... Underneath the chrome protection, I think. I might use my microfiber rag to see if that comes off, but I kind of doubt it. Jose Ramirez, I actually, actually don't think I have that card. Aaron Judge, I'm pretty sure I don't have that one, so this has already uh, been good. It's because <laughs> I wasn't planning on buying any more of that. Uh, Christian Yelich, opening day from, what year was this? 2017, that's going way back. 
Ioannis Cespedes. Here's some more of that hometown hero set. Tino Martinez, Billy Butler, and Bucky Dent. Pretty neat, huh? Carlos Silva. We're back to 2024 Bowman. Uh, Trey Morgan. Josh Young. I've heard of him before. Justin Verlander. Christopher Morrell. Alex Verdugo. Spencer Steer. There we go to Heritage. Everson Pereira rookie card. Brett Beatty. Alex Lane. Lang or Lange? I'm not sure. Willie Stargell. We got Tyler Stevenson on the 89 design here. Number one prospect. Not sure if this is from Series 2 or Series 1 of 2024. Brian Acuna. That name doesn't ring a bell. Oh, he's the brother of Ronald. How about that? So there's more... Th there's quite that's quite a baseball family, isn't it? David Price, um, 2011. Wow, that's an older card. Uh, Alec Robinson or Alex Robinson, first Bowman, Johnny Cueto, Christian Yelich. This is a pink uh, parallel from Chrome. Henry Ramos, first Bowman, Max Wagner. Wow, that's a that's a good one. I like this. This is a um, heritage uh, bat relic for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. All right, I guess that's worthy of uh, putting on a stand. Not a bad hit, I'd say. DJ LeMahieu, Glaber Torres, Austin Wells rookie card, Garrett Cole, Kyle Higashioka, and our last bunch of these. Uh, Stephen Kwan, Allen and Ginter Chrome rookie card. Well, he's having a pretty decent year so far. I'm going to put him on a stand. Sandy Alcantara, Oscar Colas rookie card. Uh, Brandon Fault rookie card. Trey Morgan again. <laughs> Filippo De Torre. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. First Bowman. Michael Geddes, first Bowman. Kevin Newman, rookie card. Adbert Alzale, uh, Bowman Chrome, rookie card. Um, or an ins rookie card insert. I think that's a rookie card insert. Uh, I don't think I'm going to stand that one. Carlos Beltran, upper deck etchings. That's a pretty cool card. Looks like it's a piece of a bat, maybe. It's this game used bat, and it looks like they put the uh, Kansas City Royals logo in that. Well, I think that's worthy of a stand, maybe. Not sure how much that goes for, because I don't remember. I, I saw something similar to that. That I have a, a Don Mattingly that's similar to that, but not the same product. Jackson Rutledge, Jose Siri. Um... Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman, I believe. Drew Rom rookie card. Yu Chang Chang. Akron Rubber Duck. So this is um is this Topps Pro debut? Yeah. From 2018. Ross Stripling. Ty Madden. MJ Melendez. We have a uh Ron Marinaccio rookie card. This is um Topps Chrome Sapphire, which I have very few cards from. I don't, I don't, I don't know this guy. I don't think I've come across a card of him before. My guess is he's not in the big leagues anymore. Twenty years of the captain, Derek Jeter. So that's an insert card from. It's like twenty twenty. Francisco Lindor doing a big burp. Uh, Robinson Chirinos, Gene Segura doing a big burp, <laughs> Yiner Diaz rookie card, uh, we just uh, pulled a, an, an auto of his from uh, my second hobby box of 2023 Topps Chrome Platinum, 
So that's nice. Now I got the base card. I think I may have that. I'm not sure. Christian Walker, uh, Miles Mastro Buoni. I probably botched that one. Mastro Buoni. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Este Rui. Jeez. Oh este Yuri Ruiz. I think I got that one right that time. And Oral Hershiser from Hometown Heroes. Not too bad. I. I thought that was a lot of fun. Got to see a lot of things that I haven't seen yet. So we're going to pull out the first, the two cards here out of this. And uh, we're going to put these uh, top loaders and penny sleeves aside. So we got Indy. Oh, there's another penny sleeve. Indy Rodriguez rookie card, uh, Bowman Chrome. Looks like a Mojo Refractor or something like a Mojo Refractor. Pretty cool. Uh, not familiar with Andy Rodriguez. We'll have to look him up. And uh, what do we got here? Delman Young. Wow, what a weird signature. It's numbered out of 250. Etches in time. Upper deck etchings. Yeah, I'm not familiar with Delman Young. We'll have to look that gentleman up. This uh, dates quite a ways back, 2004. Um, being a lower-end product, when you have an auto, it's usually of somebody that you've, you've never heard of before. <laughs> and, and that's fine. That's okay. I sort of expect it. Um, still, I, I think it's kind of neat getting an auto, even if it is a player that um, I'm not familiar with. We'll definitely have to check him out. Um, let's open our packs. I'm going to push these off to the side here. Beep, beep. Uh, I do beep between opening packs. I should have did some more beeping earlier, but sometimes I forget. Uh, 2023 Tops Chrome Platinum Hobby Pack. That's nice. 2022 opening day. 2022 Tops Chrome Allen and Ginter Hobby Pack. That's nice. And 2021... Donruss, which I don't think that's a hobby pack. Maybe it is. That H might mean hobby pack on here. Um, one of the commenters in many, many videos ago say the, the, that you can tell based on uh, for Panini around the, um, the barcode. And it, it looks like there's an H there. So I'm going to guess that that's what that is. And this is from 2021. Um Let's do these in this order. We'll open up the opening day one because I don't really expect much from the opening day pack, but I have occasionally pulled some good stuff out of these in the past. Ryan Zimmerman starts us off. Freddie Freeman. <laughs> Wander Franco rookie card. Oy, 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 oy. Not sure what's going on with him, but I don't think he's got much of a career left. Uh, Bomb Squad insert Babe Ruth. That's that's nice. That's a nice one. Uh, Dylan Carlson, uh, Kbert Ruiz, Future Stars, and Logan Gilbert, Future Stars. That was actually a pretty decent pack before Wander turned into a, uh, whatever you want to call him. Uh, that would have been a great pack back in the day. Uh, 2021 Donruss. Let's see what we find in here. Haven't opened any of this in a long time. All right. Jack Flaherty. Liam Hendricks. Denelson LeMay. Troy Gloss on the retro design. We have a rated rookie of David Peterson. Francisco Lindor. Looks like the telephone's ringing. Starling Marte numbered out of 75 on fire parallel. Wow, that's pretty good. That's worth standing. Uh, I'm not going to answer the phone until I get through this. Clark Schmidt rated rookie. They can leave a message and I'll get back to them. And there goes the answering machine in the distance. I've never had anybody call me while I was on in the middle of recording. But I can't back it up now. Ted Williams. That's pretty good. Oh, I hear a lot of beep, 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 beep. So it's, it's a wrong number. <laughs> Chris Sale. 
Are these refractors? The Chris Sale one's a refractor. The regular ones aren't. Um, yeah, I'll put that one here. And um, inside the park... Um, Arches National Park. I think that's in Utah. Yeah. And uh, Clayton Kershaw. Last pack. Um, 2023 Topps Chrome Platinum. So I apologize for the phone ringing. I'm not even sure if the the um, my uh, microphone picked that up or not. My microphone, um, it's a Samson microphone, and it's uh, pretty good at... Um, Blocking out exterior, exterior, blah, 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 exterior not exterior, uh, sounds that are not in front of it, I guess. We'll see. Uh, I'll listen to this back and it was like, oh, well, there's the phone. <laughs> Kyle Gibson, Corey Seeger, Warren Spahn. I don't have that one, so that's nice. And Vladimir Guerrero. So that wasn't too bad, I guess. Um, so let's see. Let's go over what we got uh, from the packs. A uh, refractor of Chris Sale from 2022 Allen and Ginter Chrome. Uh, also an on fire parallel of Starling Marte numbered. Um, what does that say? 62 out of 75. So that's nice. Uh, I do PC Starling Marte. Um, Stephen Kwan rookie card. Tops Chrome. Allen and Ginter. This was not from a pack. Um, this uh, strange auto of Delman Young, which, who I need to look up on Baseball Reference because the the name doesn't ring a bell. It's numbered out of 250, 202 out of 250. Kind of a bizarre autograph there. And Carlos Beltran, Upper Deck Etchings. Basically a piece of his bat where they have um, etched in uh, the Kansas City Royals logo. Pretty neat looking card, I'd say. Uh, that's not number, but definitely a nice addition to the collection. And um, a bat relic from Topps Heritage of Vladimir Guerrero Jr., which is pretty cool, too. So pretty good box this time, I, I would say. I hope you all agree. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, take care, everybody. I apologize for the phone ringing there. Sometimes you just can't help that stuff. Anyway, um, beep, beep. And don't forget to leave a beep, beep in the comments. I'll beep back at you when I get around to it. Take care, everybody. Beep, beep.